everybody. I wanted to do a little uh, movie review this morning because I saw a movie the other night that I've watched it three times since Saturday and um, I love it. I may have watched it four times but I think the fourth time I was like kind of playing in the background while I was doing other stuff so I wouldn't count that but I um I loved it. It was uh, it was a horror movie. I'd never heard of it before. Um, well, I just got my Amazon Prime working on my Roku, so I was kind of exploring that um, that channel, and I came across it, and I was like, "Well, this sounds like something I would like." And um, it's a found footage documentary type movie, um, mockumentary actually, but which. Um, I do like, I like found footage videos or movies. I don't know why people have a problem with them. So um, anyway, it was called Hell House LLC. And it's about this um, New York based group of people that put on a haunted attraction every year in, I think they said Manhattan. And then this one year in 2009, they decided to do it in this little abandoned hotel in Abaddon, New York called the Hotel Abaddon. And um, it was abandoned and said to be haunted and everything. And it, it seemed like the perfect location for this haunted attraction. And it really did look cool. I mean, if I saw this, I would uh, definitely take pictures of it. I, I, I wouldn't go in and I don't go into those haunted things. Um, but uh, anyway, so it came out in 2016. I want to give you a little information about it. It was written and directed by Stephen Cognetti. And... Um, like I said, it's haunt creators who uh, want to do this haunted house in this uh, um, the hotel Abaddon in New York, outside of the city. Um, I think they said it's in upstate. So the night they open, um, fifteen tour goers and staff members die, um, and there are other injuries and stuff, and it, it's really bad. Um, and this shows footage of creepy events that occurred in the Abaddon while they're preparing for the haunted attraction. Like I think they went in there in September and started setting up for it and just really creepy things happen and just it's the, the scenes where something creepy happens are very scary and I feel like the acting is really really excellent I mean it's very uh, very real um, and they're really good I I hope that all these actors find work in bigger productions one day because I thought they were all really good and just there are so many creepy scenes in it that are so fantastic um, one actor in it, Gore Abrams, his character, I think, has the best scary scenes in it. And it's just, I think it's a great movie, and I highly, highly recommend it. If um, you get an opportunity to see this and you're a horror fan, especially if you like found footage and mockumentary type things, I really think that you will enjoy this movie. It is just, I think it's great. And, um... Some people have compared it, when I'm reading about it online, some people have compared it to the houses that October built, which I thought was terrible. It was a found footage movie, but it was, the acting was blah, it was just not convincing at all, and um, yeah. I think um, part of a good horror movie is they make you feel something for the cast member, for the characters, and in the houses October Bill, I just wanted them gone. I couldn't stand them. They were just so obnoxious, so douchey. But in this movie, um, in, in Hell House LLC, they were still, um, you know, boisterous and everything, but they were really good actors. And, uh, you know, I saw them more as humans than just characters, and uh, I cared about them more than I cared about the characters in the houses. Octoberville. 
if that makes sense to you. Um, I just think that uh, for a movie, a scary movie, to really be scary, you have to feel something for the characters. And if you don't feel something for them, you're not going to care that they get butchered by some slasher maniac, you know, or ghost or whatever. But um, the house is of October. The house is the. <laughs> The house is October built. I think it was a really good concept. It was a really good idea, but it just fell flat. But Hell House LLC, I will tell you honestly, when I started watching it, I didn't have high hopes for it, but I thought it was great, and I do highly recommend it. Um, let's see. It's about an hour and a half, um, but it's, uh, it's good. If you like horror... Um, particularly found footage type things, you will, I, I think you'll be intrigued and you'll like it. I mean, it's not, we're not talking Shakespeare level entertainment, but it's, you know, it's, it's good. It's a good, fun, scary watch. I got a little scared. Um, there was like, uh, when I watch, um, movies, I'm like, this is my bed right here. Oh, look at Tina. See Tina. Hi, Tina. I'll, um, I'm like my TV's right there, so I lay on my side and watch the TV. And sometimes, if I get a text or something, my phone is sitting on the floor, and I'll just kind of roll over and like check it. I didn't even want my hands or feet anywhere on the floor area because it was so freaky to me to, um, you know, something might grab me. Something might grab me, Tina. So, yeah. So that's my review. I'm sorry. I'm not really good at movie reviews. I could just tell you if I liked something and why I liked it um, or if I hated something and why I hated it. But I guess that's what a review is. So um, again, highly recommend it. Um, two thumbs up if you get an opportunity to see it. I highly recommend it. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to all of you later. Bye.